up or back or the other setup. This is how you set up your pole when you cast it out. If it's vertical or if it's straight up and down. This helps a lot when you pull the pole out or fighting the fish. So the next one is guys, a lure bait. Here's seven lure baits that I use and set up. And let's also talk about the moon. This is when it's the best time to go fishing for lures. Five nights after the full moon is the best lure time. And if you guys don't have a scale, here is how you weigh your fish and see if you guys have that big 100 pounder. By the girt, by the length, if you have a measure, a tape ruler, they both work. Now let's get into some There's a lot of fishing equipment that I use for a little fishing. I got my pen, Squirrel 60. I put this on top of my convention this is my conventional setup. This is for big game. I also got my spinning setup, which is a pen battle eight thousand with 80 pound braid on it and I also have a pen senator with 80 pound and the lines that I have is big game straight from Walmart really cheap line you don't really need too much um, you can get this bells you need a bell for here to fish um, a pole holder. I use the metal short ones so I do a lot of rock fishing. Um, a light. Get these lights right at Walmart. Cost 20 bucks. Super bright. They work. My GoPro and stuff. Um, I also use LX Pro light. Just to see the fish in the water. If it's too far away. It's a very good light. Rechargeable. Get these lights on eBay. Ace Hardware has them, um, maybe even Walmart in the mainland might have some. But then, the poles that I use for my spinning reel is a pen. This is a 10 footer. I caught lots of good fish with this pole. And then my conventional setup is the Pen Carnage 2. Very good pole. This is for super, super lightweight. This pole works very good. I also caught fish, you guys. This is a pretty kind of expensive setup. Um, my nitro here. 13 footer is more of a expensive heavier setup but very good I use that a lot I caught fish on that in my videos but I also caught my last lure which is probably my biggest on a beef stick $40 Dawa beef stick right from Walmart put the spinning reel on there I also had a um you know, a $40, $50 reel from Walmart that I caught my last fish on. So you don't really need that big or too much money for a good setup to catch fish. I mean, if you want to catch 100 pounders and stuff, then you work with stuff like this. You know, your conventional reels, your, your pen carnage twos, your pen um, spinning setup right here. So that's a pretty good setup right there guys that I have that I mostly fish with as you guys can see on my videos and stuff and that's about all you guys need maybe about for a good setup this one reel pull everything 300 bells everything pull holder and you're fishing big fish you're catching using 60 pound for a lure fishing cut it yourself some room for your first hook 
this right here would be my first hook. Regular right hand. Like that. See that? And your big hook. Can go through here. like that you can do any tie you guys like and then your second one not that far only four inches a smaller hook they're all right so there it's a double hook line you can see and then this goes to your three-way swivel this is another dunk method you guys can use for catching big fish my tires are not on point guys I'm just showing you I'll take some more the palm it's a six ounce lead you want this kind of long though like around two three feet maybe A swivel and there you have it another little dunk action this goes to your main line this is the setup right here you can see dunk to a swivel to a double hook setup as you can see the double hook set up guys just like that to a three way swivel to a weight this goes out to your main line it's another dunk method for catching big fish two-way swivel. Here's your regular hook line. It's another one I want to show you guys. To your big duck hand or a loop knot. So you can change hooks in and out. But instead of using the two-way swivel, you want your regular swivel three tie mini knot. Your line comes out of here. Main line. To the other side of the swivel. This is for dead bait now, guys. Around. So you can see. It's your hook. But then your weight, cut off the axis. There it is. Main line, hook line, and your weight line goes on this side in the back by your main line. Super, 
short, you want the main line for this setup. So your dead bait just floats on top of the water. Float on the floats on the bottom, but way up. So you want your hook line to be kind of long. And there's a the setup. Another fast setup for donking for lures. So you can see. Main hook line comes straight out. Dunk weight comes down, super short, you want it. And then your main line comes out. Like this. Very effective setup.